valleys are one of the areas where true professionals take their time in doing it right. The average valley gets loaded up with a substantial amount of water and can get backed up with ice and snow in colder areas. There are three methods to install in valleys, including the open, woven, and close cut methods. First, we'll look at the woven valley. The woven valley should only be used with three tab shingles or slate line shingles. This technique should not be used with GAF laminated shingles because of their thickness. So we'll install a woven valley with three tab shingles. Remember, valleys are a prime leak area, so it's important to be extra careful. That's why we require the use of weather watch or storm guard self-adhering leak barriers in all valleys to qualify for the Golden Pledge limited warranty. The Woven Valley is a very waterproof valley because it leaves no exposed openings and because the two sides of the valley are usually blended together seamlessly. The first step is to install weather watch or storm guard leak barriers down the valley. Then lay deck armor, tiger paw, or shingle mate deck protectors on the deck. Even if water does get blown in under the shingles, the leak barriers and deck protectors will provide an extra layer of protection. The Woven Valley shingles are applied simultaneously on both sides at the intersecting roof surfaces. Bring the first course along the eave up to and over the valley with the last shingle extending a minimum of 12 inches onto the intersecting roof. Now bring the first course on the intersecting roof along the eave and extend it 12 inches across the valley and over the previously applied shingles. Press the shingles into the valley and nail them in place. Make sure that you press the shingles far enough into the valley to prevent bridging. Use normal nailing methods, except that no nail should be within six inches of the center line of the valley. Two nails should be placed at the end of each shingle crossing the valley. Continue by applying additional courses of shingles in the manner just described. The closed cut valley is popular in many parts of the country and shows the aesthetic appeal available with asphalt roofing shingles. Now, how do you create this valley with laminate shingles? Simple. First, lay weather watch or storm guard leak barriers down the valley. Bring the first course of shingles along the eave and across the valley onto the roof plane that has the lower slope or lesser height. Starting on this side allows the largest volume of water to come over the cut and not into the cut. The first course is the only course that is woven with the intersecting roof surfaces. Now, apply shingles, assuring that you extend at least 12 inches past the intersecting roof. Don't make a joint in the valley. If a shingle falls short, insert a one or two tab section or 12 to 18 inches of laminated shingle in the row so that a full shingle extends over the valley. Press the shingles tightly into the valley. Make sure that the shingles lay flat enough so that no bridging occurs. Secure the shingles at the valley using normal nailing methods, but remember, Make sure there are no nails within six inches of the valley line. This will ensure there is a 12 inch minimum nail free zone in the center of the valley. To ensure proper fastening, two nails should be placed at the end of each shingle that crosses the valley. Continue to apply succeeding courses in the same manner. Next, apply shingles to the unshingled side. Make sure that the shingles extend past the center line of the valley so that they can be trimmed properly in the next step. Trim the shingles as you install them using a chalk line to ensure a neat installation. Crop one inch on a 45 degree angle from the upper corner of each end shingle as you install. This will direct any water back into the valley. Finally, Embed each end shingle in a strip of asphalt plastic roofing cement three inches wide. The open valley is next. Begin by applying corrosion resistant metal over the weather watch or storm guard in the valley. Do not nail the metal to the roof. Metal needs to have space to move. Use either metal clips 
or use the roofing nail head and clip the metal in place by placing the nail head at the metal's edges. Snap chalk lines on either side of the valley center line with the ends six inches apart at the ridge and widening an eighth of an inch per foot as the lines approach the eaves. Cement flashing at the edges with asphalt adhesive. Then install the shingles. Trim the shingles at the valley and make sure to crop the upper corners to help direct water back into the valley during heavy rainfall. Finish by applying asphalt cement under the shingles at the valley. It is important to note closed cut California valleys can be used with GAF Timberline Series laminated shingles on slopes greater than 4 and 12. However, California valleys are not acceptable on Golden Pledge installations. For more details on shingle applications and specialized valleys like the California Valley, visit GAF.com.